Hello friends, I am here Kripa Shankar once again with you. We would like to inform you that the content on studentsrunway.com is exclusively compiled for distribution solely on studentsrunway.com. You may use the content for personal learning or pass it on to your friends, but please do not use it for any commercial or institutional use without acquiring prior authorization. Any tampering of watermarks of studentsrunway.com or Krupa coaching is liable for legal action. This is Krupa signing off. Thank you very much. All the best. Shoal, S H O A L. A shoal is a large group of uh, fish, and a small group is called a school. S E H O L O O L. <coughs> A uh, school of fish is a much smaller one and a shoal is a much uh, bigger a group of fish. But sometimes these two words are again used uh, synonymously as if they both mean a large uh, group. And a shoal can also mean a sand bank, a sand bank in a beach, in a stretch of water that is visible at low tide. That's a shoal. That's a shrew. S H R E W. A shrew is a, a small mouse like mammal which has got a long snout, S N O U T, and it is related to the moles, S N O U T. Snout is the uh, projecting uh, part of the animal's head, especially the nose. And this word shrew, S H R E W, can also mean uh, a scolding, nagging, bad tempered woman a termagant t e r m a g a n t t e r m a g a n t termagant that is a, a nagging bad tempered woman a spitfire a spitfire a beldame b a l d a m e a beldame a beldame actually uh, uh, means an ugly evil looking old woman and a hag H A G. So shrew is a small rodent, mouse-like animal related to the moles, and a shrew also means a quarrelsome, bad-tempered woman. Now this is a single-breasted jacket. Actually, uh, it is like a tuxedo, and uh, you can see the lapel. The lapel is the uh, lap at the front of a coat, and it's the continuation of the uh, collar of the coat. So that's called the lapel of a coat is the collar of the coat. And this is a tuxedo. T-U-X T-U-X-E-D-O A tuxedo uh, is a semi-formal evening dress uh, for men. It's uh, in a short form it's called tux. T-U-X Now that's a skunk. A skunk is an interesting animal which has this uh, tendency uh, to defend itself by ejecting a, a very intensely malodorous fluid and it uh, in short it lands a stink bomb on any attacker so we use the word skunk uh, to also refer to a person uh, who is uh, who is very poor in personal hygiene who doesn't bathe regularly or even a person who is deemed to be despicable or contemptible or despicable D -E -S -P -I -C -A -B -L. despicable means uh, a person who is very wild, unworthy, worthless, uh, very wretched character a slimy fellow, a morally reprehensible character morally reprehensible character R-E-P-R-E-H-E-N-S-I-B-L -E -E, reprehensible something that deserves severe criticism, severe rebuke, severe censure, something that is condemnable, something that is condemnable, something that is deplorable. <coughs> deplorable, D-E-P-L-O-R-A-B-L-A. -E -E deplorable means very bad, very unfortunate, of very poor quality, deserving severe rebuke or censure. So condemnable. A skunk is a person who is condemnable, a deplorable, despicable character or it also simply means an animal which defends itself using stink. This is a stack of books.
simply a pile of books there's a tableau t a b l e a u now a tableau as you can see from the picture is a group of uh, statues depicting a particular scene and the word tableau can also mean a group of people attractively arranged uh, a, a group of stage actors who are depicting a scene there are no dialogues no movements there and a tableau is also called a float f l o a t and in telugu we call it shakatam on independence day for example there is a tableau for tamil nadu tableau for andhra one for karnataka that's called a tableau and tableau very broadly simply means any dramatic scene uh, dramatic scene now uh, that's a tableau and tableau we want uh, t a b l e a u v i v a n t we want we want means full of life that means a group of people who are there uh, and uh, who are depicting a particular scene that's a tableau so any dramatic scene or a group of statues can be called uh, a tableau now incidentally we use the word dramatic dramatic can mean a couple of things something thrilling sensational or simply pertaining to uh, a drama and this is another tableau a float a stationary picture created by stage actors this is actually a scene from the rio festival rio carnival and this is a tarn t a r n a tarn is a mountain lake especially one that is uh, formed by glaciers a glacier g l a c i e r is a very slowly moving mass of ice glacier is an ice mass this is a tea cozy uh tea cozies are used to keep uh, the teapot and the tea warm uh, so it's a padded uh, cloth uh, covering a teapot warm okay cozy as you know means very comforting warm and uh, giving shelter or cozy can also mean fostering a very warm and friendly atmosphere that's a cozy atmosphere very intimate very snug as in uji snug means offering safety fitting closely <coughs> now this is a tranquil uh, turquoise pool or should we call it an azure pool i think azure would be the right word azure means a z u r e uh, it means deep purplish blue uh, that's a, a shade of blue that is a sometimes azure can simply mean bright blue sapphire s a p p h i r e sapphire colored blue colored and tranquil as you know means very peaceful this is the picture of a trawler t r a w l e r a trawler is a fisherman who uses a trawl net or it can also mean a fishing boat that uses a, a trawl net or a drag net to catch fish uh, so remember trawler simply means a fishing boat a trawl net is a, a net t r a w l n e t is a conical fish net which is dragged through the water and uh, at great depths that's uh, a trawl net and the other one is a drag net a drag net is uh, also uh, a net that is dragged through the water and drag net interestingly has another meaning a drag net means a system of coordinated measures used by the police to apprehend criminals so that means caught in the police drag net that means a trap laid by the police to catch the criminal so here we are discussing a couple of words what you are seeing is a boat and actually it is a fishing boat a fishing boat is called a trawler t r a w l e r and trawler also means a fisherman who uses a trawl net hello friends kripa shankar here again with you we thank you for your interest in kripa coaching and studentsunway.com If you find our content useful please like us on Facebook follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hope we hope you give us a plus 1 on Google you could also subscribe to our email list and be notified
upon new updates. Thank you. This is Kripa Shankar signing off. Good luck.